Hello folks and welcome to GED Microlearning. My name is Dr. MCR and this is GED Math Test 30. First question, basic arithmetic is a rate problem. So it says, how long does it take to complete a delivery route of 60 miles at a rate of 20 miles per hour? All right, so the key word here is miles per hour. Whenever you see this, it means it's a rate problem. And this is a really, really good formula to know. It's going to save you a ton of time and headaches. So distance is equal to the rate multiplied by time. So I really suggest that you commit this formula to memory again because um, sometimes there's a lot of these problems and it makes your life so much um, more easy. Okay, so in the question they're giving us the distance and they're giving us the rate and they want us to find how long it takes or the time. So you would rearrange this formula to say that distance um, divided by rate is equal to the time. So when you take uh, the information from the question, it tells you that the driver, uh, the delivery goes 60 miles, so that's the distance, and it goes at a rate of 20 miles per hour. Okay, so you would divide 60 by 20 to get the time, which is three hours. All right, so your correct answer would be C. Question two is an applied arithmetic problem looking at proportions. The scale on a map reads 2 centimeters is equal to 175 kilometers. How many kilometers would be represented by a distance of 3.2 centimeters? All right, so in the question they're telling us that 2 centimeters is equal to 175 kilometers, like that. And then they're asking us what is the distance represented by 3.2 Okay, so we could write it like this. We could say that 3.2 um, x, that's what we're trying to find, the, the number in kilometers. All right, so when you set up your, um, your equation like this, this is a proportion, okay? So what you have to do here is that you have to write an equation out of this. The way you do it is that you multiply across like that, so x multiplied by 2, which would give you 2x, and then you multiply the 3.2 by 175. That gives you 560. And now all you have to do is solve for x. How do you do that? Divide both sides by 2. Okay? So that gives you that x is equal to 280 kilometers, which is answer A. All right, so the next question is an exponents question. Which of the following inequalities is true? X is more than 800. Okay, and they're giving you in the answers the possible values for X. So A is 3 raised to the third power, B is 2 to the fourth, C is 7 to the fourth power, and D is 8 to the third power. And here all you have to do is basically solve for these exponents. So remember, an exponent that little number that you see um, raised, raised is telling you how many times you're going to multiply the base number by itself. Okay, so 3 raised to the third power is another way of saying 3 times 3 times 3, okay, which is 27. And then 2 raised to the fourth power, letter B, would be the same thing as saying 2 multiply it by itself four times. Okay, so you go down the line, kind of solving the exponents, and you get that C is equal to 2,401, and D is going to be equal to 512. Okay, and that question is asking you which of the following is true, uh, where the value has to be more than 800. So our correct answer would be C. Okay, question four is a, a question that involves multiplying polynomials. And so far, I don't think we've done this yet. We've added polynomials and we've subtracted. So this is a, a new type of problem. And it's asking you which of the following expressions is equal to 2a raised to the third power, b raised to the eighth power, multiplied by 5a squared c. 
All right, and the first and most important thing, don't get scared, okay? I know this looks really kind of intimidating and kind of messy, but it's actually very, very simple. As long as you remember these two rules. Okay, so when you're multiplying, um, you know, like multi uh, polynomials like this, the first thing that you have to do is you have to multiply the coefficient. Okay, so the, the coefficients are basically the, your base number, so to speak. In this example, the coefficients are 2 and 5, so 2 times 5 is 10. Okay? All right, and then there's a question of what do I do with the exponents? Okay, so it's a little bit different than when you add a polynomial because when you multiply polynomials, you are actually going to add the exponents, okay? So you're adding the exponents. So if we look at the letter A in both of these brackets, you can say, see that in the first one we have 2A raised to the third power, and then in the second bracket we have 5A raised to the second power. So when you multiply these exponents together, what you're really doing is that you're adding them together, okay? So you would add 3 plus 2, that gives you 5, all right? So your answer would be 10a raised to the fifth power. Um, then uh, if you look at b, there's nothing to multiply b by, so it would stay the same, b to raised to the eighth power. And if you look at c, there's nothing to multiply c by, so it would just stand on its own, okay? So 10a raised to the fifth power, b raised to the eighth power, c. Okay, so you, you can see that it looked really, really messy and kind of intimidating, but when you break it down, it's actually pretty straightforward, as long as you remember those two rules. Okay, so your correct answer is D. All right, and our final question today, geometry as always, um, and here they're giving you uh, ordered pairs, and they're asking you which of these ordered pairs uh, can solve the equation provided. So the question says, the ordered pair minus 3 comma 4 is a solution to which of the following equations? Okay, and they give you four equations. All right, so remember that when um, they give you an ordered pair, what this is telling you is that they're giving you a value for x and they're giving you a value for y. Okay, and it's always in that order, in alphabetical order. Okay, x followed by y. So all you have to do is take those values and then plug them into your equation until you get the correct answer. Okay, so if we look at letter option A and we plug in uh, the x and y values that they give us, here we would have minus 4 multiplied by minus 3, which is what the, they're giving us in the question, minus 4 is equal to 8. So let's go ahead and solve that. We would say minus 4 multiplied by minus 3 is 12. Minus 4, that would give us 8, is equal to 8. Okay, so our correct answer would be A. Uh, let's check, nonetheless, the other uh, formulas they give us. So letter B is 4x plus y. So if you plug your equation, it would look like that. So you would get minus 12 plus 4 is equal to 8. That gives you minus 8 is equal to 8, which is not correct. Okay, so it's not option B. And here I forgot to put the value for Y. So if you just plug in the X value, that would be 4 multiplied by minus 3 minus 7. Okay, which would give you minus 19 is equal to 8. That's also wrong. And again, the last one, if you plug that uh, minus 3 value for X, you would end up with um, 5 is equal to 8, which is also incorrect. Okay, so as we said before, the correct answer would be letter A. All right, folks, that's it for today. I hope you found that useful. As always, I want to give you so much uh, thanks uh, and appreciation for your time. Thank you for supporting my channel, for watching. Hope you have a terrific day. Stay positive and stay strong. Have a good one.